In this video, we'll be completing another ice table. Why don't you plan on working this problem along with me, so be prepared to pause the video several times. So why don't you now create an ice table using this equation. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, hopefully your ice table looks something like this. Alright, I'm going to provide you with some given information. Now why don't you use this information to complete the table. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back. So this is the initial concentration of ammonia and this is the equilibrium concentration of ammonia. If we started with 0 and we ended with 0.15, that means the change was an increase of 0.15. Now how do we find how much these reactants decreased by? I say decreased because the only way that we can make products is by decreasing the amount of reactants. So if we increase this by 2, this decreases by 1. If we increase this by 2, this decreases by 3. That's the stoichiometry of it. So if we increase this by 2, this decreases by 1. So the relationship is 2 to 1. So if we increase the concentration by 0.15, how much will this concentration go down? Well, like I said, the relationship is 2 to 1. So that means it goes down by 0 0.0750 moles. Alright, now See if you can um, complete the rest of the table on your own. I'll give you a moment to do that. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay. So let's take a look um, at this relationship, 2 to 3. If we react 0.15 moles of ammonia, how many moles of hydrogen also reacted? That's just the basic stoichiometry question. So we're reacting 0.15 moles of ammonia, we use the coefficients from the balanced equation, the relationship is 2 to 3, to discover that we would react 0.225 moles of hydrogen. So if we start with 0.8, we decrease it by 0.225, that means our equilibrium concentration is 0.575. So now we've completed a nice table. Um, the next step would of course um, be to create an equilibrium expression. Maybe we'll skip that and we'll move on to some more problems.